Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can bring Power BI visualizations into a presentation. So on the screen, I've got a blank slide and I'm on the insert tab in PowerPoint. In the middle there, I've got Power BI. Now for you to insert something, you obviously have to have a Power BI account and I've set up a report. So I have actually set a report up in Power BI. If I just bring that window onto the screen, you can see it. This is the report which I have set up in Power BI desktop. And then I have clicked on file and published it. That's what I've done. So what I need to do is show you how to get this information into a slide. If I close that for a second, save. Now, if I click on the icon, it loads this up and it's going to ask me for the URL of that published report. This is the published report. Same, looks the same, but it's now published. That is the link that Power BI will provide for a PowerPoint slide. So if I copy that, go back into PowerPoint and then paste it in this space here and then insert it, it should insert that report into this slide and then I will be able to use that as part of my presentation. Just wait a couple of seconds for it. There it is. So you can see there's the report as part of my presentation. I've only got one slide at the moment, this is it. But that's straight from Power BI into a PowerPoint slide. So you get the best of both worlds. Page two is just a list. Now, if I come back to PowerPoint, where I've got that embedded, I've only got page one. If I go and get myself a second slide and do that again, click on that, go back to Power BI. Now, let's have a look at this URL. Copy that one, so I'm on page two. Come back into PowerPoint, paste that in there, insert, and that pastes a visualization, which is page two. It says so at the bottom there, page two. So this is a hyperlink back into Power BI, the report, page one, page two of those visualizations. Once you've got the Power BI visualization in your slide, if you double click on it, like so, you get these features which you would normally see in Power BI itself. So you've got some basic filtering options there that you can utilize. For example, if I take that on, it might make some difference, take that one off. So that's made some difference to that graph. So, and then coming down, if I double click on it again and just come down this area, all these different office, for example, take that on, it's quite a big bar. On this top one, um, this is like 2015 if I drop that down. So if I scroll down, it's on 2015. If I take that off, put it down for 2021, you see the slight difference there in that visualization. And if I put that down to 2021, 21 and 2020 and 2019, so it starts getting a bit cluttered there. So I'll just take that off 2019. So you get the functionality of Power BI in PowerPoint. So whichever slide I'm on, whichever page I'm on, if I just double click on this, it's going to give me the, the, the sectors in this case that can select a sector, um, go for banking. There's not much going off in banking. And then you can just basically select the items that you want before you actually generate the presentation. And then this is a dynamic feature, obviously. Now, when you put this into full screen, these filters that I'm showing you there, when it, this is available when you're presenting. So you can actually change these filters if you need to while you're presenting. So let's see if I can show you that. If I put this into full screen, what you've got there is the filter option. But if I double click on the visualization, this one, I get those same filters that you saw and I can actually manipulate this while I'm presenting. 
So taking off the 2020, for example, that is now showing that filter and then put it back on, put 2019 back on, and it's doing exactly the same in presentation mode. So that's a really cool feature. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully that was of use for those who want to get into this. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.